Today on Community Cooking, we have local chef and owner of Hay 19 Public House in Torrance, Demi Stevens, back. She's making another local favorite. How about some tuna tartare? We're cooking with some of the best chefs from right here in our own community. So grab a seat and get comfortable. We have another great meal for you. This is your Community Cooking. Welcome to Community Cooking. I'm your host, Maria Prekicis, and I'm so excited. I always love to have Demi Stevens from Hey 19 Public House in the house. In the house. In the house. <laughs> we have so much fun together. Your energy is fabulous. Thank you. You have so much going on in your life, and yet you have actually two fabulous restaurants here mm -hmm. in town. And I don't, I get exhausted just, you know, talking to you about <laughs> all you do. I mean, do you sleep? Sometimes when I sneeze, I close my eyes. Yeah, well, you can. Your eyeballs will pop out. <laughs> no, you do so much. Um, first, let's talk a little bit about the restaurants, and then we'll get to our tuna tartare, because okay. I need to know how to get all of this into that. Right. But Hey 19 Public House. Right. Is here in Torrance. It's in its uh, fourth year now. Um, it is an American bistro. We have a um, real uh, I'm going to use a big word, plethora of um, different types of food. And so this particular dish uh, is very, um, in our opinion, very Los Angeles. So you're um, really um, melting pot this uh, dish. So you have uh, Japanese elements, you have Mexican elements, and you have the very California elements. So I love it. That's where we're at with that one. Well, and tuna tartare, what's interesting, that and like an ahi pokey, because I love both, but I right. always forget what's different. Generally speaking, and again, there's going to be a lot of opinions about this, it's the size of the cut. So a tartare is going to be smaller than a dice. Um, the poke is going to be about this size or a little bit bigger. Um, we were going with a much smaller tartare, uh, almost, um, almost a small dice. Um, but we found that uh, guests like the little bit larger pokey size instead. So we didn't change the name. So we're lying on the menu. <laughs> oh, what the heck? As long as it's good and everything at your restaurants right. are good. Thank you. And the tartare, you do eat usually with some sort of chip. Correct. Pokey, I just shove it all down. Right. Um, you can do this with, these are flour tortilla oh, chips. My favorite. Um, we also do them with a gluten-free flour uh, tortilla chip, and then you can also do it with crackers if you wanted to okay. or whatever. But for the most part, we're using this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And so let's talk ingredients. Super simple. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So we have the ahi tuna. We have, this is a, uh, it's a billed as a Japanese dressing. So it's um, soy sauce, um, rice vinegar, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, but you can buy that already made. Okay. Um, and that's a lot easier. This is a garlic sambal. And then um, we have a, a little bit of chives, salt and pepper, uh, microgreens, the um, chips, avocado, and the fish. So talk to me about fresh ahi versus frozen ahi. It is my understanding that all ahi is frozen on the boats. I could be incorrect. However, that is how it was explained to me. So it's my understanding that they do everything right there on the yeah. boats, and they freeze it on the boats. So I have never personally seen it having not been frozen. The only time I've seen it is at a restaurant in Maui and where the fisherman actually brings it Come to right them there. that day. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't happen anywhere else. No, not here. Yeah. <laughs> not that <laughs> I know. Not here in Southern California. <laughs> but and like you said, in the process now of so many you know, different types of fish, they do flash freeze it right on the boat right. and it's just as if you know you're serving it the next day and it can Correct. be a couple weeks later. Yes, so exactly. I think it's a little exactly. safer that way mm -hmm. personally. Yeah. Um, and so you want to go to a good fish market? Be right. And someone. here we're in really good, you know, Torrance, we're really lucky. We have, you know, a lot of people come right off of San Pedro, um, fishermen out of there as well. So you have a lot of places here in the South Bay uh, that you can go and get a good piece of, of fish. Yeah. We're really fortunate here. For yeah, that we are. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So, um, Especially with the Asian markets. Yeah. In the Asian markets, you can find this super easy, pretty much any of them. I, I'm a big frequenter of all of our um, Asian markets here in Torrance, and um, you'll find this over in the fresh fish mar uh, part, and it'll already be um, 
you know, cut down and all you're going to have to, it'll look like this. But yeah, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I even, when I visit um, friends in Idaho, I get, they all have the, you know, fresh frozen and it's good. Yeah. It's, yeah. I love ahi. I love all fish, but mm -hmm. it's one of my favorites. Yeah, especially it's an easy one. Because I love this. Well, it's fun. People tell me that it looks like a present when you it get does. that one. And so when you see when it's all done, but it's a really fun little process. And, you know, I think that people eat with their eyes first. And so when you show up with something um, that looks beautiful and you can tell that we put some time into it, we actually cook the food. It's a kind of an, a new uh, concept nowadays <laughs> where, you know, we're actually making your, your food. We're not opening a bag and, yeah. you know, warming it up. I uh, have some friends that came in from Louisiana and I opened up my knife collection and I, I said to the gentleman, I was like, um, how did you feel about me showing your, you my knives? And he was like, well, in California, they might think you're a serial killer, but in Louisiana, that's a turn on. <laughs> so awesome. it was pretty cool. That's a good thing in Louisiana. Yeah, you know how to use a knife. So these are really, really easy. I'm just going to break this one down so that it's not um, okay. giant. And it's super simple. A lot of people are, you know, worried about cutting themselves. So yeah. you just move easily. And your most important thing with your knife is that it's sharp. And so one of the main things I do in the restaurants is I have somebody come and sharpen those knives. Uh, every, uh, every month my staff has their knives get sharpened. Oh, that's so. awesome. I know. I, I always used to think, the more dull, I'm not going to cut myself. But no, no, that's when it slips. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and you'll get a gnarly. Uh, I had one once in a, a restaurant that I was doing in Santa Monica. And the uh, knives were really dull. I got hit from behind. I cut my uh, finger. And it was a bad scene. And I, yeah, it was not cool. Sharp knives are your friend. Are your friend. Absolutely. I love it. So you just cube it. And I yeah. like it. That's it. I've had tartare before when it's super little, but I do like a little more chunkiness, especially yeah. on the. A lot of people do. And so that's why we went ahead and, and you know, you kind of. I'll put it like this. When we opened Ortega 120, the salsa that Tom and I liked, nobody else liked. So it can't be about what I like, because I yeah. have a leather tongue. If it's not on fire, then I'm yeah. not interested. You don't want to kill off your customers. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sometimes. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it uh, ended up being, um, the salsa is really popular, but it's the one that we didn't want. Yeah. So you so, have to go with what, what people like. So you added the chives. I added the chives, or you can just use green onion. Okay. That's fine. I like chives. They're a little more mild, mm -hmm. personally. And then this is the... Um, it, sometimes it's listed as a Japanese dressing. You can cheat okay. with that if you want to. It's fine. And it's, again, just really, really easy. Mm, I could just take that whole piece and gnaw it. Yep. I won't because I'll have some manners today. But oh, look at you. What the heck? Mm -hmm. What the heck? Yeah, and then your fun part is to go with the uh, avocado. Okay. Well, let's take, we're going to let that sit for a second. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a quick break and then. We're going to talk avocado, knives, and cutting because I've come close to a few accidents. <laughs> <laughs> My poor boyfriend, every time I have a knife out, hun, be careful. So we're going to talk avocados, of course, fresh from the Torrance Market, uh, Torrance Farmer's Market, and learn how to make our little presents. Right. I love it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're watching Community Cooking. Amazing. <laughs> what's, I don't even know what's going on. Hi, I'm from Blue Hood Stone Barns. What? May I come in? Yeah, come in. We brought a meal Thank for you. you and I'm here to serve it to you. Wow, okay, great. Zucchini carbonara with egg wow. and pork belly. Made from Thank zucchini you. that was harvested earlier this morning. So good. Again? Hello. Ah. Hey, Dan Barber. Hello, guys. I'm sorry to bust in here, but uh, you have room for a little bit more? Come, come, yeah, come on in. Thank you. Mind if I just plate this in the kitchen and no, bring it out to you? No. Right, no, cheers. go for it. Thanks, wow. guys. Thanks. Oh, Thanks. Believe that? No. No chefs. No sausage. So when we made that zucchini carbonara, you know, they're the end pieces of the zucchini and the cores that we cut away to give you those perfect strips. Not to mention zucchini flour. Usually those get thrown out. But we love this part of the zucchini, and we're always making dishes and use the whole zucchini. If you don't mind, I'm going to just do a little bit of lemon juice on here to finish it. Great. Enjoy.
enjoy it. I, I should have figured that it would finish the zucchini, right? We started it and we should have finished it. Yes, we're not wasting we... it, we're not throwing it away. Amazing. Try it? Yeah, straight off the skewer. Mm. We're never supposed to ask how you like a dish, but how'd you like the dish? I loved it. This is a great treat for us. Does that, oh. Again? <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm here to bring you your third course. It's the vines from your zucchini. They uh, resemble penne pasta, huh? We'll have yeah. a little zucchini stem pasta if you're up for that. A different experience of zucchini. Isn't that crazy? 40% of food in America never gets eaten. Here's a chance to do something creative and delicious with the whole plant. We dig in, huh? Yeah. When we start to think differently about our food, we can get a lot more out of it. This is delicious. What do you think we can make out of this? 40% of food in America is never eaten. Cook it, store it, share it. Just don't waste it. Visit savethefood.com to see the full recipes and learn how to reduce food waste in your own kitchen. children struggles with hunger in America. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Welcome back to Community Cooking if you're just joining us. I'm with a good friend, fabulous chef, restaurateur, mom. Again, I get pooped just talking about you because you have so much going on. This is Demi Stevens, by the way. So, the tartare, super easy. Super Japanese easy. dressing, a little bit of chives. Yeah. Chop up some fresh frozen ahi. Mm -hmm. and, and a little tiny bit of salt and pepper, which I salt forgot. Pepper. Yeah, okay. I put in there, but not, not a huge amount. Okay, because we add the, the Japanese sauce has right. a lot of that, you mm -hmm. know, has some salt. But everyone always says, even if you're using soy or teriyaki or whatever, always do still a little bit of salt and pepper. Exactly. So before mm -hmm. we get to the avocados that I have a love-hate relationship with, um, Ortega 120, mm -hmm. your other restaurant. Tell me about that. Right. Uh, so Ortega 120 opened in May of 2008, and uh, three months later the economy crashed. We didn't okay. have a sign on the door, um, but uh, we are known for our mole and our margaritas. Oh, I love so, mole. Yeah, we have a, a really brilliant, Tommy did a great, great job with the mole. And then the margaritas are, uh, that's me, the booze, you know, liquor and money. <laughs> and um, <laughs> So uh, the margaritas, um, we 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 just burn through margaritas. It's insanity. Well, and what's you know you always like to take all your restaurant items, whether it's you know alcohol or food, and make it family not family, but you know friendly at home. Right, home friendly. I should. You say. can actually do the margaritas at home. We sell the mix. So uh, and that's the key because sometimes mm -hmm. margarita mix, the cheap stuff store bought. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. not good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mine is all. Um, uh, non-GMO, et cetera, and that's actually the businesses that I do in Louisiana. I have a food line, but I also have a uh, cocktail mix line in Louisiana, and the um, margarita, it's not the exact same because the margaritas that I make here um, are not necessarily shelf-stable, so we are yes. going to burn through that stuff. The margarita mixes that I'm making, or I have other cocktail mixes that go with it, the number 19 that I have at Hey 19, and some different watermelon cocktails that I do as Ooh. well, and a lychee and a cucumber. There's a whole bunch. There's nine flavors right now. Um, those um, have to have a stabilizer. So I, yeah. I, became, I became a scientist. Well, I was going to say, yeah. how do you even, where do you start? Cause I learned you know about inverted tequilas. sugar. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's Google. crazy. Google, Google, yes. No, I'm kidding. Google. We actually have yeah. a, uh, there's a food incubator program there that I've been working with, and so we actually have uh, food scientists that help you to figure that kind of stuff out. Do they wear the white jackets or do they, they wear do. aprons? That's they do. They wear white jackets, <laughs> and we all have to wear those lovely hair nets. Oh, and the, you probably still look yeah. cute in those, but yeah, I'm sure yeah, that adds just so to your day going, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I pasteurize. Actually, I'm such a control freak. I, I juice myself 
there. So we have juicing machines there, and then I do the pasteurization process, and I do the food stabilizers and all that kind of stuff. And it's been a lot of fun. It's different, you know. And three kids, yeah, like you said, you, you've told me before, you sleep when you sneeze. Yes, your eyes you close your eyes when you sneeze. Yeah. I mean, it's so great to see, especially a woman in this position, and I hate that I even have to say that mm -hmm. in today's society, but such a strong, great woman who just is passionate about what she does. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. I mean, it's so, I love what I do, but I get to sit and you teach me great things, mm. so who doesn't love well, that? I get you drunk and fed. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hello, I'm set. Right. I love it. Well, it's awesome. So two great restaurants, and um, all right, I've been putting it off, but okay. avocado. Avocado. Meat. Tell me the tricks. So you're going to want to make sure that you're not too soft. Right, not number too hard, one. not too soft. Right. right in the middle. Get rid of your buddy that's on yeah, the end there. Yeah, that's the one. You'll you know? find these all over my kitchen from lemons and avocados. Oh, yeah, there you go. Sometimes um, they wind up in different places. Yeah. You just never know. I do the world's worst thing, but it's because I've been in this business yeah. for a long time, so I tend to hold them. Well, and they yeah. say it's okay if you have a sharp knife, but right. a lot of people, it was on the news on and off for the last couple of years and people are like, I've had an avocado accident. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. So it's um, it's an interesting um, process. I use a smaller paring knife. That's my tip because a, a lot of people don't let me handle large knives anymore. Mm, mm -hmm. I wouldn't, yeah. But yeah, see, I'm, that's why I'm on this side. Mm -hmm. So you loosen it up around. I do. And then I'm going to remove my sides. And it does have to be, you know, ripe but not too ripe. So here's exactly. my deal. I have been on the internet and it's put it in a brown paper bag, stick it in the microwave if you need to soften it. You have to buy it and just let it soften or buy it the right consistency and use it that day or I, the next day. Yeah, I try and keep them around me, but we go through between the two restaurants the amount of avocado that I go through. I don't even know what a hard, hard avocado looks like. Yeah, anymore. you're like. I will tell you them. that we did have a um, a kid who went to work for my uh, for myself and Tom in a different restaurant that we had done um, a long time ago, and we had a kid who went to throw away the uh, avocado, the case of it, and oh, Lord. so the question was asked, "Where are you going with said case?" And he said, oh, I have to throw them away. They're bad. And we said, oh, okay, what makes them bad? They're hard. Yeah. That's so it's funny. It's a $60,000 education right down yeah. the train. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so very interesting. Know, there's always a produce man standing around. And at the Torrance Farmer's Market, there are mm -hmm. plenty of people who know I their stuff. I love the Torrance Farmer's they Market. We go there for cheese. We go there for honey. We go there for vegetables. We go there for all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And it isn't just yeah. for vegetables. A lot of people think that. But they have so many great things. And, and they have fish, too. I know. Very often they have fish. Okay, so here's your fun little trick with yeah. this one. We're going to take the side that's the strongest. Strongest, so that's the side that had the seed in it. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, find a nicer way to do this for you. So I'm going to come in like this. And you don't slice all the... Oh, you keep the top part mm -hmm. intact. I slice onions like that so they don't bounce everywhere. Yeah, because I'm going to um, spread it out. Look at that. So I'm going to take it here, turn it upside down. I unfortunately broke that one a little bit. Then we do the same on this side. So really it's easy. The side mm -hmm. that the pit stayed in. Yep. Again, sharp knife, even though it's an avocado. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Slow and steady. Well, it's kind of a mushy avocado, so I'm just trying to keep it from falling apart. If it were a harder avocado, I would have been, we'd be out of here already. <laughs> but I like your company. Mm -hmm. I like what I learned from Okay, you. so all I'm going to do is spread that out. Looks like That's a little it. spider or a crab. Yeah. Easy peasy lemon Super squeezy. Super easy, of course, on a piece, piece of uh, plastic. It's wrap. on saran wrap, right? Yeah. Which uh, always reminds me of the Saturday Night Live skit with Chevy Chase and the saran wrap. If you have not watched it, YouTube. I have it. not. I oh my look gosh, that up. hilarious! Um, and so we're going to put our avocado in here. Our tuna. I mean, our tuna. Yeah. yeah, I knew what you meant. You know what I mean. Everyone at home knew what you mm -hmm. meant. Oh, and so there's a lot of tuna. You Mm -hmm. I like you do not skimp on portions. No, we don't. Okay, then, drum roll. Da -da right? da -da 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 -da. All I'm doing is putting this together oh. like this, pulling it all up and in, and then I'm going to spin it. There 
There you go. So cool. Yep. Well, I'm making a little bit of a mess, but that's, but that's okay, what you're doing. And there you're at. Oh my gosh. How fun. Okay, mm -hmm. now how do you serve it? And I'm just going to open this bad boy up. It's easy peasy. I love it. Easy peasy is the way to go here. It's, you, know, you know, about presentation and the end of it, like I said before, you know, you're just, um, you just want to eat something that's pretty. You do. Every chef we've ever had in is like, people eat with their eyes. <laughs> I'm like, eyes really? Oh, eyes. I guess I do. Because if you get a big pile of something that doesn't look pretty, mm -hmm. I don't care how good it tastes. Exactly. Look at that. So that's beauty right there. I'm oh, my gosh. My stuff aside over here. And then... Again, just the simplest of simples. These are your tortilla chips. And put those around the outside. It's so cute. It is. It's like a little present. Mm-hmm. I love it. Okay, awesome. stack it up a little bit. Then I'm going to take my sambal. Okay. And I'm going to... And what is that? I meant to ask you. It's a garlic and chili oil, basically. Okay. You can get it. You know, again, fortunately, being here in Torrance, you can get pretty much any kind of food that you want. You can, which is so nice. Yeah. All right. And, and then, then I'm going to take my microgreens. Microgreens. And viola. Oh, my gosh. All right, do set. I dare? You dare. I'm I dare you. Because she can't have the chips. I can't have the chips. Woe is me. And just make it, you dig in and make it messy. Look, I'm using two chips to scoop it up. How do you like that? Because <laughs> I want a little bit of everything. <laughs> it won't be pretty, but it will be good. Now, if you don't want to do that whole process to it, mm. I'll actually show you a real quick trick on this one that you can okay, make it that? if you don't want to wrap it up. Yeah. I'm going to unwrap mine. But wait, there's more. Right? That so all I'm going to so do delicious. is cut up my avocado in there. And then you can put it right on top of a chip if you're, you know, yeah, clumsy or... <laughs> See, she always does a version for me. Okay, I'm taking another bite. So of it's almost like you're just making a little bit of a, a salsa. And then I'll put a little bit of my guy in here. Okay, that's so good. I still don't know what it is, but it's so good. <laughs> that mixed the in. The sambal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I think, because I'm a big um, chip fan. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, we'll taste it this way. If I insist. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you insist. If I insist, yeah. <laughs> mm. So either way, you know, if you're trying to make it beautiful for presentation, if you just want to go sit and eat this and watch Netflix, then you're good. Yeah. Okay. The ahi, of course, super great. Mm -hmm. um, the Japanese little dressing brings it in, but I think I love ahi with avocado. Yeah, I do too. And the flour chips are key for me. I used Good. to, one of my first jobs was in a restaurant cooking tortilla chips and oh, we yeah. cook flour chips. Uh -huh. I think I ate more than I cooked. Yeah. So good. I love having you here. Thank you so Thank much for you. coming Thanks in. for having me again. I well, appreciate it. It's such just another great recipe. Please make this at home or go to Hey 19 and get one yourself. Super simple. On behalf of Demi, myself, and the entire crew, thanks again for joining us. You know, we really do have some of the best chefs right here in our own community. Thanks, and we'll see you next time on Community Cooking. If you'd like a copy of the recipe seen on this show, send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Office of Cable and Community Relations. That's 3350 Civic Center Drive, Suite 200, in Torrance, California, 90503. Be sure to note the show number displayed on the screen. And don't forget, you can find all the fresh ingredients used on today's show at the Farmer's Market. Visit the one here in Torrance at Wilson Park. That's located at 2200 Crenshaw Boulevard. They're open every Tuesday and Saturday from 8 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. rain or shine. And if you'd like to be a guest on our show, email us at communitycooking at torrentca.gov and check us out online at youtube.com slash torrentcitycable and like us on Facebook at Community Cooking TV.